Chef Shuka Saturday. What in the heck is that? An old friend of mine uh, on Facebook said that he had a few things left over in the refrigerator that needed being used up. And he mentioned what they were and he said what they made what he made. And doggone it, if I don't have some of those ingredients wasting away myself. So I thought I'd make it. Uh, basically, it's a bunch of stuff mixed in a pan. I'm gonna put it over rice. What they do is they have uh, what do we have there? The recipe I found is uh, two tablespoons of olive oil in that you chop up onion, chop up bell pepper, cloves of garlic, paprika, cumin, chili powder, and, you, and later when it's just about done you put on cilantro and parsley, fresh hopefully. I have dried. Um, and also, I don't really like the eggs because well, the lady made it on online. She, uh, they eat them goopy. I don't. So I'm going to substitute chicken instead of eggs. Same animal. And uh, my little tomatoes are going to be the tomato part. Right now in the pan I have. I have garlic, onion, green pepper. And I can smell that garlic. Woo -hoo. I should be putting spices in. Then I will put in all these that were from my little plant outside. Some of them got a little too old, so I had to pitch them. This is at least $5 worth of cherry tomatoes if you buy it at the grocery store. And those lemons that fell out of the tree in our yard, they're charging $0.75 cents a piece for these at the store. Anyway, back to the sh shushaka, oh, I don't even remember what I called it. Two teaspoons of paprika, or paprika, however you want to say it. One teaspoon of cumin. Let's see, where is that teaspoon again? Here it is. It's not easy to do everything with just one hand. Cumin is a taste that you. Uh, cumin is a taste that you taste in Mexican food a lot. Chili powder, one fourth teaspoon. I don't think I need to measure that. I'll just shake some in there. Oh, that paprika. Where is it? Chili powder. Ooh, good. That's a good. Now I stir this all together before I put my tomatoes in. supposed to be quite aromatic. Starting to look yucky, huh? <laughs> and let's see. Now in goes the tomatoes. They say you use like tomatoes but these will these will do any tomato you have or want to have in there will do I'll take a little bit for these to warm up start cooking and I can squish them then during the meanwhile I'm going to cut this chicken up into little bits bubbling away it does smell good this is the point where the lady makes like a little well and puts an egg on there and puts a little the cover on and cooks so your desired eggness, and then you scoop that out and eat it. But this is where I put chicken in. Not much chicken, but as it cooks in here, I don't know how long it'll take to cook. Probably at least five minutes, at least. I have the pan on medium high. It shouldn't take too long because I cut them in little pieces, but still. I don't want to eat raw chicken. Same reason I don't eat soupy eggs. That's gross. I'm sorry, only raccoons eat soupy eggs. In my opinion. 
Maybe I'm a human elitist. I don't know. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I haven't put any cilantro on it yet. I like cilantro. Some people do not. Alrighty, where it is. Tis right here, actually. Can we open this with one hand? We can! Can we spill it all over? We can! Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! That's gonna be good! Ho ho ho! Well, it better. In, other, in any case, I'm going to eat it because I don't like wasting stuff. Unless it's just unbearable. But I think it'll be okay. I'll let it cook a little bit. Make sure that chicken's cooked. And I'll show you when I plate it. Okay, it comes time to plate it. I think I'm just going to eat it out of the pan. The rice pan. Cat sitting here, he was napping to some 60s uh, soft pop like Sergio Mendez and uh, Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass and the old Peter Paul and Mary, the old stuff for old people, right? And now comes the taste test. A little bit of everything in here. Not bad. Well, at least I could use my my things. Oh, all right. Well, I have other vlogs to make and to edit. And I'm just gonna put this one up real quick. And uh, yeah, I will make one on my high school boyfriend. I cannot find any pictures of him except a couple that are recent, and I can't find the high school picture of him. But I'll describe what I remember and all that good stuff. <laughs> Maybe I'll draw a picture. I'm not too bad of an artist. I can give you a, an idea of what it used to look like. All right. Well, take care of yourself. Stay well. I love you, and I'd like you to be there. Upward and onward.